We're gonna okay. attempt to summer Mount Clinton. Our journey to Antarctica started in the southernmost city of Chile, Punta Arenas. After six days of waiting in Punta Arenas, the weather was finally allowing us to go and we flew in five hours to Union Glacier Base. After spending one night in Union Glacier, we took a short flight to Vincent Base Camp. Let us share the whole story. Check in for an Antarctica flight. This is the plane IL-76 that took us to the White Mountain. Oh, the only commercial base in Antarctica. Very unreal. The sun is always in the sky and this is the darkest it gets at around 2 a.m. Good morning. Good morning. I'm beautiful yet. How was your first night in Antarctica? I'm very nice. Very bright. But, but thanks God we have the sleeping masks. They are very important here. Around us you see all the tents of kite companies over there. That's Xenia and all. And let me introduce some other important places of the camp, like toilet of course. So here how the toilets at Union Glacier look like. They are separate for pee and for the bigger stuff. Because they have to take everything uh, to Punta Arenas from here. This is the mass tent. Here all the gatherings take place and meals are served. The food is so plentiful and delicious. So here is Senia's hopefully last meal before we go to Vincent Base Camp. Welcome to the lunch. Here longer to read all of these cool books. I think this is an awesome collection of mountaineering books and books about Antarctica. We are going to our place, which will take us to the base camp of Vincent. So it's about a 45 minutes flight, very scenic, they say. I uh, hope it's not too loud. <laughs> With the plane taken off, we are leaving all the comforts of the Union Glacier behind and the true expedition is about to start. We're gonna build a tent, a camp here, here at the Vincent Base Camp. In the base camp, each team built their own camp. We pitched three tents, one sleeping tent for us, one tent for our guide Mike Roberts and of course the cooking tent. So we take a little piece of snow and we put it in the pot. Then you wait till it's completely warm and boiling, and then it's good to drink. We are going into a big plateau, so if you imagine those peaks, on the other side of them is a big glacier that goes downwards to the left. Now we're going to access that glacier, and on summit day we come all the way up behind those peaks to the true summit over there. 
Welcome to a cozy tent. I'm not sure actually if you can see, maybe no, or a little. But there's actually ice on the outside of our sleeping bags. This is Anya. Good morning. I'm back to Tida. Let's go. Our initial plan was to go directly to low camp after the first night, but due to the dense fog and unpredictable weather higher up, we decided to wait one more day. Instead, we made an acclimatization hike and created a cache halfway en route towards low camp. This is definitely gonna help tomorrow. Yeah. Good yeah. yeah. okay. job. Live at camp with more energy, you know. Walking back from our cache at about four, four and a half k on the route. Total about 20 kilos. It's really foggy the way up, but now the way down it's really clearing out, so beautiful views. But this sun is so strong, it's like I'm just walking without gloves, it's keeping us warm completely. As long as we have sunlight, we shouldn't get very cold. We end up in the clouds or in the shadow, even worse, because there's never sunlight, and then it gets very cold. And the very far over there is the sound of mountain trees. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna go to low camp. It's gonna be five to seven hours walk. We're gonna pass three pee holes. On our way towards low camp, we had to bring a lot of food, fuel and gear. So we each carry a backpack and we pull a sledge. What are we doing? While picking up our cache, we suddenly see a big avalanche right in front of us. Okay, let's go. This is the part where about 30 minutes ago in a very big avalanche coming from almost the top going down you can see so we just need to keep on walking how much fresh snow do you think we got here actually on the track there was only a, only a little right yeah and that's typical of powder these very big clouds yeah and sometimes the clouds go much further down than the debris bye bye We got a little unfortunate with a avalanche past us, half an hour in front of us. We saw it happening in, just in front of our eyes. Oh, low camp. Um, just arrived in the uh, low camp. Camp number two of first is base camp, this is number two camp, and then number three is high camp, and then summit. Go! Sun has arisen above the mountain, then out of the shadow. So here's our beautiful campy. That's our kitchen. We're making water now and then we get breakfast. We get breakfast, pancakes and bacon. Should be very tasty. Look at this clear blue skies. Very good because we need a warm day today. Uh, let me show you how cooking, the most important thing, uh, it works in Antarctica. So you put it in this portable product. 
and zip, zip and enjoy the view. Then after you're done, you sacrifice it and you put it in your own zip look. Yeah, so we're gonna remove this tent in low camp and go over there and now it's all in shadow but some people already climbing up on the fixed ropes okay are we ready yes yeah. the route towards high camp is short in distance but with a total of 1100 meters elevation gain very steep it starts with a short walk from camp to the fixed ropes connected to the 1200 meters long fixed ropes you climb an 800 meters wall how are you fine Good. How can you give it it's still 700 meters to go? There's gonna be more? Yeah, yeah, it's not till here, it's further. Okay, climb. What do you reckon, guys? Lots of fun. <laughs> A nice little slope. <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> no, it's not easy peasy. Okay, we can go slowly. After the fixed ropes, there is still 300 vertical meters to climb before reaching high camp. So can you see Vincent from here? That's Vincent. in the high camp <sighs> we were four hours on the fixed ropes and then we were walking hour and a half to the high camp So Antarctica and South Pole, the coldest place on Earth. Not so cold. It's very, very hot. It feels like 50. <laughs> okay, maybe it's 20. No. Good morning. Pre salmon breakfast. And this is my pre salmon breakfast. Bacon and eggs. Ready to go! Over there! We're gonna okay. attempt to summer strong Queensland. Good luck to all of us! Thanks to the 24 hours daylight, the weather on the summit is more stable. So we could have a good sleep and then start our summit push at 9 a.m. Windy and I forecast it. I can 
get very cold on your head and your neck. Yeah, that's what I feel. Here we just got off the glacier and reached the rest stop where we could take off our packs, fuel up and prepare ourselves for the rest of the climb. Okay. It sounds to me like you're getting asthma up here. So we come up here, up the slope to the ridge, then along the ridge. <laughs> Three hours. Let's go. Yeah, three hours. Let's go. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Bye bye. So at this point in the climb I still feel physically strong, but the thin, cold air makes it a challenge to control my breathing and my climbing pace gets slower. <coughs> slower! Can it be any slower? Yeah it can. What I want to do is just go slowly with new people. So we go up this slope and we're at mm. flat. There's a red stop with a P flag. Okay. We leave our ski pole and then we follow the ridge to the top. The ridge is the best, it's the most interesting. I just want to be on top for now. Get to a rhythm of snap and breathe. Got a pressure breathe and you've got to walk in rhythm. And we'll see if we can get you up there. By now, normal breathing doesn't provide me with enough oxygen. So I'm forcefully inhaling and exhaling as big breaths as possible. I feel I'm getting more oxygen and the strength to get back into a rhythm and continue climbing. It feels much better. Okay.
cold Not day, hard day, but it. good job. And now all the way back down to high camp again. The climb to the summit and back took us about 9 hours. It was tough, but it felt so great to reach the summit and see how beautiful Antarctica is from its highest point. Yes. Although it might look scary, the way down on fixed ropes didn't feel as difficult as we feared. Vincent Base Camp and now we're living in this cool tent and we took a shower it lasted only three minutes but still was awesome and I didn't have shampoo and conditioner so I washed my hair with shower gel time flew so fast we were 10 days on the ice like our guide says it was uh, tough but awesome and this is just an unfor unforgettable experience and makes me want to come to Antarctica again, do something else here, go to South Pole, because this is just amazing to be here, I think.